October favorites. I'm really excited about this favorites video because I have a couple of really huge announcements for you guys. Um, informal announcements, by the way. So first, I'd like to jump right in and let you guys know about a party that's happening in Chicago. It's going to be hosted by the Monroe sisters. That will be myself, Miss Vaughn, and my sister, my little sister, Michi Monroe. So what are we partying about? We're actually doing a launch party for a new website that my sister and I are introducing to you guys. So it's actually an online boutique. The website that we're launching is www.styleq.com and it's going to feature clothing, fashion, it's going to feature accessories, beauty products, and a virtual thrift store. With this online boutique, we're going to be launching it on Cyber Monday, which is November 26, 2012. So the launch party is going to be taking place November 25th. So the event is going to be from 6 to 8. Doors will open at 5 here in Chicago. It's going to be at the Vin Sherrod Studio Loft. Um, it's a really sort of artsy, grungy kind of lofted space that we are really excited to have had the opportunity to use. We are giving away 50 premium gift bags to the first 50 guests to arrive. Um, these aren't just any gift bags, guys. These are our best gift bags yet. There are no samples whatsoever. There are only full-size items. So the bags are extremely heavy, and they are worth over $120 worth of products. I specifically reached out to companies who would be able to provide these full-size items. We're talking bottles of shampoo, hair conditioners. We're talking jewelry, facial scrubs, uh, soaps, uh, t-shirts, all kinds of stuff in these bags and it's only premium stuff so we're not messing around with any samples. I am happy to announce our sponsors for this event. We've gotten so much support from companies that we've worked with before. So these are some of our sponsors. We've got Angelic Soaps and Gifts. We've got Delicia Hampton who is an author. She has a very very awesome inspirational book. We've also got Eaton Body Works, Cream of Nature, C's Beauty Boutique, Condi's Creations, and Girl Buy Handmade Jewelry and Accessories. The event is going to be hosted by Shurhara. We also have the music being DJ by Dope Scholars. This event is free to all guests who come. Uh, it's going to feature complimentary cocktails as well as appetizers. This event is going to be awesome because we're going to be having a mini fashion show to show you guys some of the featured items that are going to be on our website for sale coming up soon. And we can't wait to feature it. And this event is going to be super, super fabulous. It is going to be amazing. Now, the event is officially sold out. It sold out in the first 24 hours, actually less than 24 hours. I woke up the next morning and all the tickets were gone. It was absolutely sold out on Eventbrite. However, the event never got to make it to YouTube yet because I had posted it on my Twitter, my Facebook, and my Instagram, and then it just went away from there. So I wasn't even able to make this video quick enough to let you guys know. So what I'm going to do to sort of redeem myself is I'm going to open the RSVPs back up, but only for 50 RSVPs. Unfortunately, you can only RSVP yourself. If your friends want to attend with you, they have to go on there and RSVP themselves. I'm taking away the option to bring a guest. You can only RSVP yourself because the RSVPs are going to go so, so fast. So I want to give everyone the opportunity to at least come themselves. If hundreds of RSVPs went in a 24-hour period, imagine what is going to happen to 50 of them. So if you do want to attend, the event is in Chicago. I'll put all the information below. Make sure that you head over to Eventbrite now because those 50 spots are going to be taken up fast. If you guys would like to come out and support the Monroe Sisters, um, I definitely would, would encourage you to do so. We cannot wait. We are going to party. Me and my sister love hosting. We love to um, have a good time. You guys will enjoy yourselves to the utmost. So I definitely would appreciate you guys coming out. Another event that's going on in Chicago, I like to keep you guys up to date on what's happening. So my friend and beauty blogger and vlogger, Rachel O, many of you guys have heard of her before. She is um, an amazing event planner. All of her events are always great. Me and my sister always go. And it's going to be the second annual Holiday Beauty Bazaar in Chicago. It's going to be on World AIDS Day, which is December 1st. And it's going to be at the Ray Kroc Community Center from 12 to 5. The admission is going to be $15, but you would need to register online at www.chicagonaturals.net. A lot of you guys are always like, where are the events happening at? I never know about anything. You have to join into these sort of networks. Rachel Olds, chicagonaturals.net network 
is an amazing spot to go to find out what is going on in and around your city. You will stay up to date on all of the happenings, I assure you. I never miss a Rachel O event. They're always really well done, always packed out, and always really great gift bags and freebies. So make sure you guys go register for this event. Me and my sister, the Monroe sisters, we will definitely be there. And we can't wait to see you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I myself can't wait to attend. Now, getting into the favorites. I will tell you guys a little bit about my outfit today before we get started. I am actually wearing this top that is from my new store that's going to be launching November 26th. So I'm wearing this. It's kind of like this mint top with this detail on the side, this like rustic gold detail, uh, antique gold look to it. I really like this top. Gorgeous. I'm wearing this vest uh, that is like a biker vest. I've worn this before in, uh, when I was in Atlanta, and I've also worn it 12 times after that. Um, but I love this. I got this from the thrift store, and so you'll see items and things like this on our new store for the thrifted um, portion. And this necklace I got from the thrift store as well. It has an antique finish to it. This is an, another necklace that my man, Anthony, got for me for Valentine's Day. These earrings, I got this from the beauty supply. They were about a couple of dollars or something like that. And my jewelry uh, today, I have on a couple of bracelets. This one I got from Forever 21. This is just some random bracelet. I have no idea where I got it. I got this bracelet from a handmade jewelry maker. I love it so, so much. It has the, the black balls all around. And then this is a bullet. Oh, I am a range girl. I come from a military family. My boyfriend came, came from the military, and he's also in law enforcement. So we go to the gun range, and we shoot, and I'm all about... Um, being able to protect yourself and have you know legal weapons and things like that so to have a bracelet with a bullet shell on it is just so much fun to me for me this doesn't represent violence this represents strength and knowledge of the type of industry that this comes from which is the arms industry and there's nothing wrong with having arms if they're legal and if you are um, a responsible um, owner of a gun okay so let's get that out there real quick before we move on but I'm actually loving this bracelet so so much and um, it goes really well I think with this leather jacket so speaking of that I, it takes me into my next thing that I want to introduce to you guys and that's to tell you a little bit more about the person who created this and some of the other items that she created for me so I originally saw this um, type of jewelry on a friend of mine when I was in Virginia for an event it was the curls for calls event it was actually Jonna who was the coordinator for the event she represents naturally glam LLC and she was wearing this necklace and I saw it and I'm like I have to have it she put me in touch with the creator and she sent it to me along with a couple of other very beautiful items so I'm gonna show you guys the item that caught my eye first you guys are gonna freak out when you see this This is just so freaking cute you ready okay this necklace Oh my gosh! Lately, a lot of uh, brands have been creating these sort of um, cloth earrings that look like little button earrings. What she has done was created a necklace out of that, that idea. So she has created all these little different buttons and designs. These necklaces can be customized for to your liking. You can have any type of buttons if you want them all to be the same or all different. This one is more random. So she's done so many different uh, designs on here. I, you know, guys, my favorite is the animal print ones that are on here. But how cute is this? I absolutely fell in love with this freaking necklace. Oh, my gosh. And you can put it on using this ribbon, and it ties behind you, and it just makes your outfit look so chic. It's kind of like that bib look. It looks especially nice with, like, a solid colored dress or just something with, with not so much uh, texture and pattern. Definitely want to go with a solid color because you want this to be your statement piece. Next is these button earrings with a twist. I love how she created the twist for this. So here they are with metallic triangles put on the back of them. I absolutely love these. I wore these the other day and I got compliments from so many girls and guys for that matter. They really, really like them. And I like how these two designs are not identical. It's cut from the same pattern, but they're not identical. That makes it a lot more dynamic and just adds that unique appeal to them. Love these earrings. This is her very nice business card, which I was quite impressed by as well. This is the back. Definitely. So you guys, make sure you check out Style Dinity. I really appreciate it, hon, for you sending me and my sister these items. We are enjoying them, so we just wanted to share them with you guys. I would like to show you guys another item that I got while I was at the World Natural Hair Show in Atlanta. Um, I've worn this thing probably six times already, so I've washed it, and it's kind of wrinkled, so you got to part in that. But i got to show you guys this really fun t-shirt that has, getting, has gotten so much attention when I wore it. And it is this one. It's kind of a canary yellow. It has a picture of a woman who kind of looks like me a little bit. That's why I like it. With really textured hair. And the text on here says, I like it kinky. 
I love that that's like a, a double entendre and it's so so much fun everywhere I go it gets a ton of attention and I really like it because it's a very positive message the message is derived from the Marcus Garvey quote that everyone knows about which is don't remove the kinks from your hair remove them from your brain I that's actually like my favorite natural hair quote her company is think kinks natural hair apparel and uh, she has an Etsy shop as well the owner is Kimberly Francois that's so cute and her company is think kinks so this is her business card if you guys would like to check her out and this is on the back I love this photo make sure you guys patronize her tell her Miss Vaughn TV sent you and I really like this shirt guys the fit is nice the quality is nice and it turns heads in a positive way all right moving on we're gonna talk a quick bit about uh, beauty products not that much to share this time guys I don't have many favorites uh, this time around only have two lipsticks to share and um, I'm actually wearing both of them today and this is like a new technique that I have tried and it's a makeshift technique but it works so I've used this lipstick this one is by Clinique it's called Spiced Apple it looks like that in the packaging they still have this one it's a really old lipstick but they still have it I saw it recently and this is the color of the lipstick it's like a uh, bronzy brownish orangish kind of color really really great for fall so what I did was I applied this to my lips first and I concentrated it along the outermost part of my lips so almost where you would put your lip liner then I went in the center and added this Rimmel lipstick Rimmel is one of my favorite drugstore brands of makeup and it's called crush and it's in the number 202 and I love this. It's kind of like a, I don't know how to really describe it. It's like a mauve bronzy, um, almost corally kind of color. And I put this right in the middle, and I didn't put any lip gloss, so it's kind of like a matte, satiny kind of uh, finish. And I like it. It's very neutral, and it's really nice. Moving on to hair products. My all-time favorite hair product to use for styling my hair right now has got to be the Entwine creme jelly styler it looks like this you guys see me using these products a lot in a lot of my recent videos and it is simply because the thing freaking works I have used so much of this I have almost hit pan like they say with makeup so I'm like right at the bottom you can almost see like the black at the bottom of the thing I'm almost done with this I'm gonna have to get more I absolutely love this for definition my hair today was actually um, a flat iron style uh, because I wore my hair straight for Halloween I was a vampire Ugh. And I wore my hair straight, and so after that night, I didn't want it straight anymore because I really don't like hair this absolutely straight. I don't know, it's just not any fun. So I've been twisting my hair at night using this product and this product only. So as I've been twisting it, it's been really long and wavy and cute. So last night, I decided I wanted to uh, switch it up a little bit and get a little shrinkage. Sometimes shrinkage can be nice. I keep trying to tell you guys that. It doesn't always have to be all the way stretched out. Shrinkage is so cute to me. I told you guys my mom has hair down to her elbow pretty much. And she hates it long. She likes it when it shrinks. My mom's hair shrinks to about right here. Uh, even shorter than mine. We have serious shrinkage, me and my mom. Uh, even Michi's hair doesn't shrink as much as ours does. Anyway, she sh it shrinks up to here and she loves it that way. She will not let it stretch at all. When it starts to stretch, she adds more water. So, yeah. So, anyway, I sprayed it with a little bit of water, added this, and so I have a shorter hairstyle today. And I like it because it actually looks like a bob a little bit because the front of my hair is a little bit looser than the back so I feel like the back is a lot shorter and then the front kind of hangs and I really like having that bob appeal this is, gives me some variety to my hairstyle and I'm just in love with the results the definition is absolutely insane next for my favorite is a shampoo that trumps any other shampoo that I've ever tried there are some good shampoos out there but this one is my all-time favorite ever in life that I have ever used I'm so excited that I got the chance to try this oh my gosh it is the cream of nature um, um, with argan oil from Morocco sulfate free moisture and shine shampoo I showed you guys this in a previous video it is insane how good this works I can't even tell you enough how much I love this shampoo oh my gosh so yeah this is my absolute fave right now if you have not tried it you should this product is at the most six dollars I don't even think it's that much all the cream of nature products are in Walgreens right now they are cheap so make sure that you go try, but you have to try this one. If you have kinky hair, curly hair, I don't care what it is, you will be able to do this to your hair in the shower. I, I guarantee that to you. So you definitely got to try this. That is all I have for my favorites today, guys. Um, Yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support these past two years. They have been phenomenal. The opportunities have been amazing. I am just enjoying you guys right now. And I hope that my videos are inspiring to you and that you guys enjoy. One last message to you guys before I go. Um, I would like to do another blog TV to explain some things to you guys, some questions that you might have about 
things outside of the YouTube videos. So things that have to do with um, sponsored videos. I've been getting a lot of, lot of feedback about the sponsored video situation. I would love the opportunity to get in front of you guys live and talk about that. So thumbs up this video if you guys want to see another blog TV. I haven't done one probably in a year. Um, so I will do one specifically for you guys, but you have to thumbs up the video to let me know if you guys want it because I hate doing stuff that you guys don't want to see. So thumbs up if you want to see a blog TV uh, specifically about behind the scenes YouTube stuff. And I will do that for you guys because I love you guys and I'm passionate about what I do and I'm serious about what I do and I'm genuine. So let me know if you want to see it. Again, thank you guys so much and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.